Now, one of the questions I get regularly is where can I get this icon set? Well, it's a Harbor Freight brand, but actually this particular version has actually been rebranded by a lot of different companies. It is made in Taiwan and you do have to look around. The problem is, is that they are difficult to find at any Harbor Freight. But one of my followers on Instagram showed me this and I really wanted to take a look. And it does something I've never seen before. So it is a screwdriver kit. I wouldn't call this a complete kit, but notice that we have two different sized bits. We have four millimeter on this side and full hex on this side. And uh, what I found interesting is that this is designed to do both. But what's cool is it has this free flow, free spinning end. But if you grab this part right here, you can actually use it and it actually has a ratchet built into it. A lot of steps too. Pretty cool. And then you can lock it in place. Oh, I went too far. There you go. Locked in place like so. So you can use that free, you know, free floating with that in your palm. And then you can go the other direction, of course. But this is really interesting. It can use the four millimeter bits and they go all the way down inside there. Very cool. I think taking full advantage of the fact that these are longer than the standard hex bits. And then you have the ability to just simply press them in like that for regular sized. So this is a really versatile piece. And where I thought would be really useful is in various different toolkits. A lot of times these are far bigger, like you get ratcheting drivers that are substantially wider. So when you have a roll up kit or you have a collapsible kit, you might not be able to get them in as easy. Now you're not gonna get a ton of torque out of this. It's not really designed to do that, but for precision tasks, this could replace a precision driver. You are still going to need to find a place to put all these bits. Thankfully, they do come out just like that. And that is something that was a little bit of a downside. I think it's just mine got broken off. There was a little bit of a mishap when it came. This was broken off. But in general, it's not a terrible set. Um, and not nearly as expensive as something like the Icon Ratchet set. They're not exactly the same though. Okay, I will say that. But this does have a lot of versatility. So this has the ability to... Hold on a second. Whoop, what am I, okay, because it was already open, that's why. So this thing has a lot of versatility. Number one, it has hex driver on the bottom, and then it has the ability to articulate at the top, which is another benefit, and then, of course, it has the ratchet. So what's cool about this set is that you can extend it in this direction if you wanted, and this also has a magnet on the bottom, so you can have an extender. You can use it in a T-handle form, so you line these up like so. If I can figure out, there it is, and it goes all the way in. So you can have a T-handle for extra torque without the ratchet. And you can also have, oops, you can also have an extended ratchet. So I'm not saying that it replaces it by any stretch of the imagination, and I do think the bit set that this comes with is better. Yes, I have some bits in other um, toolkits, but these are not bad options to kind of be aware of. And I think the really big thing here is if you have a set of bits or you want something that can use both precision and uh, standard bits without a converter, like, like these, then you have that option. Now for everything else, you can just get a four millimeter to hex converter and then you'll be able to do that and then also this is actually very hard to find I don't have never seen them on Amazon I got these on AliExpress you can also do a four millimeter to hex conversion which I think is pretty funny on this thing but yeah it is possible to go back and forth but it's another component that you have to keep track of the fact that this is ratcheting in nature but still has that free, free floating end words hard um, is really really cool so this is the Micromark, and uh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Really cool option. Let me know down in the comments. Is this just another, you know, 
novelty or is this a practical tool that you would consider either A, carrying on you or B, including in one of your kits? Thanks again for your time as always and I'll talk again soon.